Hello and welcome to another question in our problem solving series. And in today's problem, we are going to solve the Nigerian second round, senior second round 2019, the fifth question on the exam. So the question goes like this, an inequality question, and it says let A, B, and C be positive real numbers with this condition, and we should prove that this is true. So first of all, we're actually just going to sketch this graph. And what I mean by sketch the graph, we're going to like turn this to a two variable inequality. So how do we do that? Since ABC is equal to one, we can replace C with one over AB. And now put it wherever else is equal to one over AB. So what do we get? We get one plus A plus AB over one plus B plus AB plus one plus B plus. And ABC is one, so BC is what? One over A over one plus one over AB plus one over A plus one plus one over AB and C, A will be what? 1 over B. Similarly, 4 plus 1 over A, B plus 1 over B. So now we have reduced the number of variables down to 2 because of this condition here, because of the extra condition. So, and actually, like, these are just placeholders. So we are going to sketch the graph of this in the, with a graphing calculator. So what I'm now going to do is, first of all, we know that in a two-dimensional, in a coordinate geometry, coordinate system, like when you have usually denote function like this y equals f of x so this kind of function depends on only one variable that is the vert horizontal variable x this is usually y so now but we are going to talk of a three-dimensional plane so it's something like this so this is the the x variable and the y stuff and this is the value that it takes when x and y is a particular variable so this is usually denoted as z equals f of x y so what we're going to do now, we're just going to replace A with X and B with Y because like these are just variables, they are placeholders. It doesn't really matter what the variables are. It just denotes things that can take any value. I remember A and B can take any value because we just know that since C is one over AB, regardless of value A and B take, if you multiply by one over AB, you get one. So that's why A and B are both free. So we just replace A with X and B with Y and we'll now sketch on that graph. So we'll see them later on now. Okay, so this is the diagram of the graph we talked about earlier on. As you can see, it's seen here. So right now, the for those of us who are not really familiar with this, this green line here represents the y-axis, and this part, the arrow points, are the poetry y-axis. This red line represents the x-axis, and the part, the arrow points towards is the poetry x-axis. And this blue one that is vertical is the value of this function here. That is also the z-axis. That's why we z equals f of x, right? So these are the values we are talking about. So once I prove that for all inputs here, this that all the values are above this tree here. And as you can see it um, graphically, like, okay, yeah, it's a bit clearer now. You can see that all values are actually above three. It looks as if it touches that three at one point, and that point should be the equality case. So right now, we just combine this with um, the graph of z equals three, and we see that it never goes below this. So if you look at this thing carefully now, you see that it just touches that probably only at one point, but you can see that no part goes below this z equals to three. So this is actually why this is always bigger than this, because as we know, for all values in this x, y plane, none of it goes below this other graph. So that's why this graph is greater than or equal to three for all values in the x, y plane. Yeah. So let's now go back and now solve the question. Yeah, in an Olympiad way. So, note of the fact that the product of a b and c are is one so like that is going to be very crucial in the solution so now when we see things like this like things with a b c you notice that a times b c is equal to one and b times c a is equal to one by the based on the condition and c times a b is equal to one also so usually when we face questions with things like this where a b b c c a a, B, um, A, B, and all the six times, where all the six times are like repeating a lot. There's usually a trick behind the way they, they are arranged. Like a way of like trying to see how things work out is to multiply the numerator and denominator of some fractions by the same thing. Uh, you may end up seeing that some denominators are actually going to be equal. So now this second term now in this um, sum. So I chose to multiply the numerator and denominator by A, B. So now let's multiply um, up as numerator by AB and also let's multiply the denominator 
by AB. And let's see what we're going to get. So AB times this is definitely AB plus AB squared plus. Plus we now get what? AB squared C. But you know this AB squared C, we can break it down with the condition. So I'll do that later on. But that is under, this is a way, this is the way we are going to be using this condition to explore the question. Of course, if this condition was not to be there, we can't really break this thing down to B. Because this will actually end up being B based on this condition. So now this denominator will become AB plus ABC. And remember, ABC is one. So we actually change it to one later on. Then this last term will become what? A, B squared C. So as I say, this can be broken down to equals A, B plus A, B squared plus, then this goes to B. Then this is an A, B plus one plus B. So now if you look carefully, like the denominator at this second term here, after I multiply um, numerator and denominator by A, B, is actually the same denominator with this first term here. One plus B plus A, B, one plus B plus A, B. So that is how um, all these questions, they kind of like hide the, they kind of hide this, the information that denominators are just like um, products of maybe A, B times another denominator or C times another denominator. So now we do something very similar with this last term here. Just that here we choose another thing. And the reason why I'm choosing these things is just um, based on how you have to try a lot of things, not just um, one time you get it out. So this second term here now, I will multiply the numerator and denominator by B. Definitely multiply the numerator and denominator by something that is not zero. It's going to give us the same thing. So that's why I'm writing equals to here. It's not an inequality. So the question is really interesting. So then this goes to B plus BC plus ABC all over B plus AB plus ABC. Then if you look again, this ABC can be is equal to one by the condition. So this is B plus BC plus ABC plus one. Sorry. Plus one. Forgot to break it down. Plus one all over B plus AB plus one. And now if you look at the denom numerate, denominator again, you see that it's actually the same thing with the previous two denominators. So now since all denominators are the same, we can just add up, if we want to find the sum of the three numbers, we can just add the numerators and keep the same denominator. So it implies that one plus AB plus A over one plus B plus AB plus one plus B plus BC all over one plus C plus BC plus one plus C plus C A, all over one plus A plus C A is equals to, this equals to not, I'm not applying any inequality yet. So it's equals to, it's equals to this, this one I didn't uh, multiply, it, um, I didn't multiply anything to the numerator and denominator of the first term here. So it's just for the second and third term, because I wanted them to match with the first term. So like that is just how the idea of this type of questions, I multiplied two others or the remaining ones so you can try and make it to match with um, the denominator of one of the terms that you didn't multiply numerator and denominator with. So after I do this now, you see that B plus A, B plus one, B plus A, B plus one, B plus A, B plus one. So we just add the numerators. So this is going to be called to one plus A plus AB. That is for the first term, then for the second term, AB plus AB squared plus B. Then for the third term, B plus BC plus one. Then denominator is the same thing. B plus AB. So now, what we are now required to prove, just draw this line here. So now we are required to prove that this, I wrote here, 1 plus A plus AB plus AB plus AB squared plus B plus B plus BC plus 1. All over this, this is what we are now required to prove. It's much more simpler than the original way the question was written. So like that's how questions like this are usually attempted. You try to manipulate the condition given in the question by multiplying numerator and denominator by some certain variables to see how you can simplify the fractions. And so that as we chose the right terms A, B, and B, like the reason why I didn't choose C and A, C or something is because, as I said, it's not just one time. It's not just by looking at it. You have to like try some things in the row. So, 
this is what we are required to prove and this is actually equivalent to when we cross multiply because a b and c they are all positive real numbers so definitely like this denominator is positive so we can cross multiply and nothing really happens the inequality sign doesn't change so now when we cross multiply it's going to be equivalent to us showing that or we can just collect like times first of all to save out some space so one occurs twice so that would be two how many times does a occur a a occurs once a b occurs twice and um, B of us to us also. A B squared. And B C. So it's according to showing that this is greater than or equal to 3 plus 3 B plus 3 A B. And you can see that sometimes are common on both sides. So we can cancel it out first of all. So that is, you can subtract 2 from both sides. You can subtract 2 B from both sides. And you can also subtract um, 2ab from both sides. So that would be equivalent to showing that 2b, sorry, that would be equivalent to showing that a plus a b squared plus bc is greater than or equals to 1 plus b plus ab. I remember like this is still based on this condition that abc is 1. Like let's not forget this condition. This inequality may not be true for all positive real numbers but based on what the question is saying it's meant to be true for when the product of the three times equals to one so this is what we're now required to show like we're required to show that this is true like this and I'm, I'm putting a red box now we're required to show that this is true this is what our terms now so how do we do that we can do that by just making some little observations you can just apply AMGM three times and we see that everything comes out. So let's start with the application of AMGM. So first of all, all these terms are positive, so definitely applying AMGM should not be much of a problem. So by AMGM, A plus BC is at least two times the geometric mean of the product, which is ABC. But here ABC is one, so this is um, equals to two. So it implies that A plus BC is greater than equals to two. Then similarly, a plus a b squared greater than equals to two times the geometric mean of the product as a squared b squared, which is two a b. So it implies that a squared a sorry not a squared sorry forget about it. a plus a b squared greater than equals to two a b. Then the last application that will help us here is a b squared plus b c. And by the AMGM also is greater than or equals to is twice its geometric mean. And the geometric mean be A, B, Q, C. So then if we can break this down with the condition, this will be equals to A, B, C will change to 1. So we've left with B squared. Then square root of B squared is B. So that will be 2B. So it implies that A, B squared plus B, C greater than equals to what? 2B. So now let's add all these three inequalities together. Let's add three of them together and see what we get. So when we add three of them together, I see that A occurs twice. We use A in two of the inequalities. Use B C in also in two of the inequalities. And use A B squared also in two of the inequalities. So this we adding all three together, adding three inequalities together. So you see that it will give us um two, I'm just clean this out, sorry. Give us two A plus B C plus a b squared is greater than equals to then if you look here also everything here is a multiple of two so we can factor out two also so one plus a b plus b then two is a positive number so if you divide both sides by two the inequality sign will change so this implies that a plus b c plus a b squared greater than equals one plus a b plus b and if you look carefully like this is actually what was required for us to prove so we're actually done with the question by using amgm so as you see, we didn't really use um, a lot of advanced things here. And just first of all, we try to manipulate these denominators by multiplying numerator and denominator by some constant terms, by some terms, because we want to like explore this condition here. So this is how to attempt questions like this. And let me just do the equality case and we will call it a day. Okay, so for the equality cases now, Remember, applying equality cases in EMG and when you apply to two terms is when the two terms are equal. So for equality cases, equality cases, equality cases, cases, 
because we are not sure it's only one case for now. So equality case, equality you hold when A is equals to BC, when A is equals to AB squared, and when A B squared is equals to BC. So I remember it also satisfies this condition A B C is equals to one. So it's not so difficult to show that equality you hold only when A is equals to B is equals to C is equals to one. And this is the full solution to this question. So I really hope we enjoy the question today and um don't forget to subscribe and just leave out a comment on what you think you found very interesting in this question like or how else you maybe if you had another solution to this question you can just discuss with us what other solution you found out from this and don't forget to subscribe and also to like and comment on this video and i'll see you in the next video